sort of geeky now because I was an SNL aficionado, especially growing up and watching it. I'd set my TV every night for 10.30 Central Time, of course, and to watch the to watch the show. I'm here with Mark Lochner, the creative director of SNL The Experience. This is so cool to walk through and see all this stuff. You are geeking out a little bit. I like this. <laughs> well, a privilege to be part of this. You know, uh, this idea of taking this on the road started a number of years ago, and now to take it out of New York and the first city to, to uh, in the tour is to come here to Chicago with the exhibition, with the experience, artifacts, uh, um, recreations of sets, uh, scripts, hair and makeup. It's all here at the uh, at the Saturday Night Live exhibition. Every corner I turn, my eyes just get big, and I'm like, oh my god, I know that. So here, though, first, people may not recognize this. It's not a part of a set. This is Lorne Michaels' desk, right? That's right. Uh, Lorne has an office on the 17th floor, but he also has one on the 9th floor. And uh, we were fortunate to get this desk from the 9th floor, where he looks over Studio 8H and sees the rehearsals. It really is kind of this moving experience as you walk through. And let's start, because we see Monday here, and that's really how you tell the story through this experience, is through the days of the week. Yeah, it's a show like no other, right? It starts on Monday afternoon when the writers and Lauren and the guest hosts all get together in Lauren's office on 17. And then this process starts. Tuesday is when the writers go off and write the sketches. Wednesday is when the, sc the scripts are read through. Thursday, everything starts. The set shop out in Brooklyn starts to build the sets, uh, hair and makeup starts working, wardrobe is, is sewing all the the, uh, the costumes, the wardrobe, all leading up to that live performance it's on Saturday night. It's a machine. It really is. And the people that are with the show have been with it from the beginning. We got the bees. You got a lot of costumes and people are going to be asking the whole time when they're here, is this really what John Belushi wore? And that's it. Exactly right. And they weren't even certain they still had this. And where are we right now? This is a replica of like the, one of the very first show things, right? Yeah, the stage that we're all familiar with when the the guest host is introduced. That's called home base. Well, this is a reproduction of the first home base. The first home base was thrown out a long time ago, but that set designer, Eugene Lee, was so excited to recreate it for this exhibition. George Carlin walked out October 11th, 1975, the first Saturday Night Live. If you will allow me one moment, you won't amount to Jack Squat. Sorry, that's what I just have to do. How was that, Mark? Was that okay? Um, Good morning. Yeah, sorry, I just had to go with well, it. Well, right there. Look, there he is. Oh, my God. I didn't even see it. So we're looking at all these amazing right. costumes. And, Mark, you, you pointed that out. Yeah. There's so much to look at that. I think every corner you go on, it's like, oh, my God. They're all here. And, you know, with a 42, now the 43rd season year old history, people of all ages come to this exhibition, this experience, and kind of have their sweet spot where they watch Saturday Night Live religiously. All right, so what we're seeing right now, these are the cheerleaders. Yeah. This is like, and you made a good point. I think everyone has their age where like yep. SNL was a thing. This was it for me. Will Ferrell and uh, 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 sure. Cheryl O'Terry. Yep. Taco, burrito, what's coming out of your speedo? You got troubles. Woo, blowing bubbles. Sorry, I just had to do that one. And before we wrap up, probably one of the most iconic sets as we head into here. We saw Wayne's World. Here's Church Lady, just passing by Church Lady. Look at this. We are on the Jeopardy set. How cool is this? Something tells me you should be Turd Ferguson. <laughs> I should be Turd yeah, Ferguson. Sure. So why be outside for the weather when we can do it from the weekend update desk? This I got the weather. How about that? All right. You want to do it? Yeah, there's a low pressure system forming here in the uh, Caribbean, and it's going to move on into the Gulf of Mexico next week. We've got to watch out for that. I'll be down covering that live in St. Petersburg, Florida. <laughs> what about here in Chicago? We got the Great Lakes up here, although I don't know if we have all... Yeah, we got all five of them up here. Yeah. Chicago looking pretty good today, right? It looks good. It's 71 and sunny. Yeah. The Weekend Update desk. How cool was that? I might steal and bring it back to the Jam Studios. Is that okay, guys? Back to you. We got Megan from Blue Plate Catering, and you guys are catering the big event here on Friday, right? Yes, we'll be here on Friday um, doing the big opening event, and we'll be featuring all of these wonderful food items that we have here in front of us. And it's not just that these are just food items. These are all items related to sketches. So when we, we saw the pizza earlier. Let's start over here. So this is related to an SNL sketch. Absolutely. This one right here is a variety of flatbreads. This represents the pizza eating business skit. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's McCarthy, right? Exactly. And then if you go on over here. Of course, we got, we got the Billy Goat here. Here, cheeseburger, oh, cheeseburger, yes. chips, no Coke. Exactly. So that highlights from there a variety of sliders with chips and obviously the Pepsi. Oh. And then, of course, the super fan. I saw beer and sausages, so it's got to be the super fan. Absolutely. So we're going to have a variety of sausages, lots of toppings, and it's going to just be, really be a wonderful event with a lot of fun, different foods. Sorry, I was a little busy. Yeah, you got the sausages here. If you remember Chris Farley, of course, pounding his chest, you know, ah, ah, kind of thing. and then you can't, you, can't, you can't miss it without... What do we have here? The sweaty balls. Yes, goodiesfamousspopcorn.com. 
I love their sweaty balls. Exactly. Do you love their sweaty balls? Of course I do. I'm going to take one bite of the sweaty balls. Guys, back to you in the studio.